This is Bill and Deb North of the Florida Weekend Warriors, and we have flown into Anchorage, rented an RV from Great Alaskan Holidays, and in this adventure, we are heading into Valdez, Alaska. We rented a small 25-foot Class C RV this time because it's so much easier to maneuver in Alaska. The right end of Valdez is amazing. On the right-hand side before you get to Thompson Pass is the Worthington Glacier, and then there's a bunch of numerous waterfalls. The most famous waterfall is Bridal Falls. That is Alaska. And don't forget to check out the abandoned train tunnel as you come into town. On the right hand side, right before you get to town, is um, Crooked Creek Waterfall. And we hiked up to the top. It's definitely worth a stop. Crooked Creek. While in Valdez, we head over to the brewery. We also stop over at the salmon hatchery, but the salmon weren't there yet. But the real highlight of this adventure is our kayak adventure to the glaciers. Oh, he's naked naked. <laughs> Wanted to keep his clothes dry. Valdez at Bear Paw, and this is the adult section. It's Bear Paw 2. You see, there's our site. Right there, waterfront view. Here's what the rest of the park looks like. And that building is the bathhouse. Got four washer and dryers, and four bathrooms. right on the edge of the harbor. Coast Guard over there. And the Abbey Louise heading out to sea. Sign says, no experience necessary, let's hope so. Our boat was very comfortable. It was actually an old school bus. I used to go island to island, pick up kids, and take them to school each day for school. The boat ride from the harbor out into Prince William Sound is just beautiful. Majestic mountains in the background. There's all kinds of wildlife to see. Here's an incoming oil tanker. See how much of the red barnacle paint is up out of the water? It takes over 24 hours to fill one of these ships. On the way out, we saw the marker where the Exxon Valdez ran aground and spilled back in the 80s. It was too far away, we couldn't see it with the GoPro. Valdez is known as the waterfall capital of Alaska. Here is Anderson Falls on the right. We saw tons of wildlife out in the harbor, like these huge group of sea otters. We also a bunch of, saw a bunch of sea lions that were out on this one buoy. We were going to book a tour on the Lulu Bell sightseeing boat, but we probably saw as much wildlife on this tour as we would have saw on that boat. Plus, the weather really just didn't cooperate. Today was the only day that it really didn't rain. Boat 
ride is a little over an hour to the glacier, and you can tell we were getting close when you can start seeing all these icebergs everywhere. The crew temporarily beaches the boat in this one little section and they unload the kayaks for us and the rest of the gear and the water taxi will end up leaving and come and get us at the end of the day. It's about an hour to the glaciers from here. You ready? I'm ready. <laughs> Show them my little kayaks. Hope he comes back. If he breaks down, it's going to be a long night. Yes, it will be. Oh, look, they're way up there on top of the rock. On the other side. They give you a special bib to keep the water out of the kayak and plus gloves. But today, we didn't need them because the sun was out. Small ice cave right there. We felt safe in the kayak, and this cove is completely protected. We had just worn too many clothes because the sun came out, and we got really hot kayak. We used to sit in here really only less than 10 years ago. This is all glaciated. This is our first iceberg. Probably won't bear last. Wow, look how big it is under the water. You see it? Yeah. It's huge under the water. So this entire video is going to be the back of Debbie's head. <laughs> Say something, Debbie, so you know it's really you. Okay, she waved. It's just so pretty back in here. It's quiet, other than you hear the water running. Look at this green stuff up on the top of the mountain. See it? In the middle there. There's the other glacier that you didn't see until we went around the corner. Look at all this ice. Iceberg. It's a gorgeous day. The glacier looks like it's right in front of you. It's supposedly 300 feet tall, but it's really far away. You just can't tell. There's some kayakers. Looks like it's right there. Way over there, you can see some kayakers. You can barely see them. They're probably a mile or two away. It's gorgeous, isn't it, Deb? Yep. This one over here is super blue. All you hear is the sound of the running water. We tried to get some footage of the glacier calving, but we could never seem to get the GoPro turned on in time. Small ice cave right there. What do you think of this iceberg, Deb? There's rocks in it. Far down in the water it goes. I can't see that far, it's too dirty. Yeah. I finally caught it with the GoPro.
Look at the big crack on the left side of that. See it? The big cracks. That one big piece over there is going to come off. It's time to head back to the beach. We have to meet the water taxi at a specific time to get our pickup. Look at that funny looking iceberg right there. Oh, he's naked naked. <laughs> Wanted to keep his clothes dry. <laughs> Why? This is more fun. Look at this way. Um, oh, just told us to go over here. Oh, sorry, never mind. Listen to Bear, don't listen to me. <laughs> sorry, I can go wherever you want to go. No, no, go over there. Oh my god, it's amazing. Any shrinkage? Oh my god, I don't have it anymore. And Mr. Turtle. It's gone. Mr. Turtle. We had a great time on Pangea Adventures Sea Kayak Tours. This is the all day tour. We hope you like this video. Please give it a thumbs up, leave us a comment, and we will see you on our next adventure. See ya.